Right, friends, welcome back to some more Barca slash Chicken Boys. Sadly, I don't have my trusty mascot with me. She's outside playing. She's finally well enough that I can just let, let her outside and she'll do, well, whatever it is she wants. And then she comes home at night just to poop on me, I'm sure. We played on quite a bit after the last, well, very disappointing episode versus Real and United. Uh, in terms of results, I mean, we're undefeated in the league. I mean, I say undefeated. We've won every single match in the league, which is great. We did lose away to United, which was a bit meh. So the Champions League group was very boring, which is also why I kind of didn't show you anything from it. I mean, we finished second, won all the matches except, well, versus United. Uh, Leipzig and Sporting, both three points. I guess they wish they would have joined the Europa League instead or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, in the league, it's been going... As expected, almost. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wins on the trot. Uh, pretty impressive. The last one was 6 1 away to Sevilla, which is a difficult place to play in it. Uh, them results mean that we're now back in first, which is also a bit disappointing. Oh, Atletico is actually number two. That's weird. What happened to Real Madrid? They must have been slipping up a little bit. So they're actually, they're also getting wrecked in the. Champions League, which is funny. So they've lost Drune. Drune? Just making up English words. Mm, why not? Uh, Drew, Drew, Drew. Yeah, they're definitely in a terrible form after smashing me. They should have rested their players or something when playing me. I think that would have been made more sense. Uh, anyways, it's going alright. Uh, today we're playing... Who are we playing? Valencia! At home. Oh. Uh, Let's see, it's also January the 2nd, so transfer window is now officially open, which uh, could be interesting. There's uh, some interest in some players, Lenglet still has United interested, and he's still worth 50 million, which is pretty nice. I also just realized that Napoli is interested in Jordi Alba, who, I mean, admittedly, he is bloody amazing still at 32, right? And he turns 33 in like uh, two, three months three months time but you know he is starting to decline a little bit um, and I guess he is worth getting oh, he's so good also he hasn't been playing a lot this season he's actually been a lot injured and tired and then um, what's his face called Mendes what's he Nuno Mendes has been playing really well he kind of took his chance I mean seven assists and 14 appearances that's pretty nasty right for a left back so he's kind of well, I guess he's developing into what Jordi Alba used to be. Um, 11 assists last season for Alba. That's pretty nice. But maybe Mendes will beat that record this season. Uh, but we'll see if Napoli actually make any inquiries. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to offer him out because then the price is going to be lower than he would originally want. And I don't need to sell him. Uh, if they want him, then come at me. Because actually, the reason I don't need to sell him is... Uh, where is it all? I, I probably can't find the news. But the, I guess the um, financial crisis is officially over because uh, the board just randomly gave me 70 million to spend if I wanted. And I said, yeah, sure, why not? So we have loads of money to spend. Um, don't think we're going to necessarily buy anyone, but you never know. Let's get into smashing Valencia, hopefully, who are apparently, I just saw there, 12th in the league. So, I already set up everything, and it's pretty... Is it straightforward? I guess it's actually not, because I'm starting Fabian Luzzi up front. Uh, our 17-year-old wonder kid, I would... I mean, he's not labeled as one, but I think he is. Could be very, very good, and the reason for that is that Mbappe is injured. And I figured, yeah, just give him some game time. I haven't been overly impressed by Depay. And also, Trincao kind of dipped in form after his amazing start, so... <clears throat> Other than that, it's Ter Stegen, Trent, Tadibu, Garcia, Alba, who hopefully will do all right in the back. Uh, I'm not sure, but in front of them, it's Camavinga the Young, then Petri, Messi, and Fati, and then, of course, Luzzi up front. Mm. Quietly confident, but you never know. Valencia, always a good team, but I mean, we are at home, right? So smash them! Kill them! 
Okay, sometimes I really don't know what the heck is going on at Sports Interactive. Uh, I'm getting this weird question as a press, uh, press conference, I guess. English, sorry. Uh, so I saw this weird Sergio Akieme, who's just a random player who never even plays for the B team. I sold him like two days ago because it's the second today, right? So the English ones and the Italian ones, I think, opened already. So now they're saying with Akime gone, you have to wait until the next transfer window before replacing him. Is that fair? The reason they're asking this is because the transfer window opens in two days. Like uh, the Spanish one opens at, I think, the fourth or something, or the third. It's not open. What do you mean? Of course it's the next one. Also, like I don't even I don't even know who he is, so I hardly think that matters here. Just screw that. Let's get into the damn game. <laughs> Some random twat I've never heard of. Oh, uh, oh well. Petri out to Trent. Just keep going. Yeah, you can do. It. I mean, Messi is. Why is he not bothering? Or come on. So Trent has to do everything alone. He does. He, what? There's a lot of back passes, and then suddenly a ping pong off everyone's head. I'm not sure if it's football or, well, ping pong we're playing, but I guess it is allowed. Messi to Trent. Oh, so much space out. Okay. I mean, he did have lots of space. I didn't expect him to just smash it up in the corner, but great goal from Trent. Oh, not this again. Let's just see. Goals. Yes. It's. Why does it, uh, bloody replays. To be honest, it's because I turn them off when I'm not recording because I usually can't be bothered uh, seeing them again, but maybe I'll have to adjust myself. Are we going to defend that? Okay, 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 okay. Good, 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 good. Just, uh, that, that's very nonchalant. Hmm? Nice build up from the back to Messi, Kamavinga, who has really been playing really well. I mean, and same as this guy, Trent, he's just, Machine to Messi, who okay, that was close. I did, uh, I gave C uh, say no, I gave Messi a new contract yet again, so now he's still here for at least another season. Well, unless someone wants to buy him, of course, so I'm not sure what to do. I mean, if he keeps scoring like that, 13 goal of the season, then just keep him around, right? I mean, he's still just absolutely world class and i don't know how when he's ever gonna like decline so guess we will find out in due time it was a trend as well yeah trend with the cross to messi and then silison doesn't know what goalkeeping is or maybe he's just helping out his former team which mm, i have no problem with garcia from the back to alba i hope napoli are watching i mean even though alba hasn't really done anything but maybe he will <clears throat> that was a weird pass to my Danish brethren, Daniel Vass, up to Musa, who's actually an interesting American talent. Well, hmm. Maybe one day. There is Alba. Go on. To Fatty, who I'm really hoping is going like, to develop a bit of form, you know. With injuries and all sorts at the beginning, he really hasn't found his stride yet, but hmm. I hope he will. Trent, is he going to cross to... Ooh, what? Ooh. Yeah, that was a difficult angle to score from. Maybe should have laid it back, but... Oh well, half time. I mean, just say I'm delighted. I usually never do that, but... I'm gonna try it for a change. 2-0 is, you know, that the most dangerous lead, or whatever they say. Which I guess is true, psychologically, but... I mean... Whoa, a highlight maybe? In the 69th minute, how dirty of them. Bloody perverts. <clears throat> it's Gary Neville and his perverted thinking. Infiltrated the Valencia mines. Well, cheers to that. As Petri takes it forward, is he gonna pass it to Luzzi? No, no, of course, Trent needs to be involved. He's just everywhere, isn't he? <clears throat> The fatty? Oh my god, that's a great goal. And you don't expect him to score many headers, but that was a great one. I mean, he still has scored eight goals. So I don't know where that came from. <clears throat> Petri kind of just lays it off to Trent, who's just involved in everything. It was a great tackle by Lee, but then, yeah, nice cross. A great header from Fatty. 
who doesn't look very fat, so apparently he is. So who am I to who am I to judge? Let's do some changes then. Let's just have a quiet game. Let's just get the Inachi one because well why not? He's here, you know. And who else? Who else? I think I wanna change it a little bit around here in the midfield to Depay as the AMC and then get Moriba instead of De Jong. Just to get give them some game time. <coughs> I think three nil it's pretty safe now in it. I mean you never know with the United <coughs> results, so it should be. Lee to Guertas, Guertas? I don't know how you say it. I could say by Testegen. Who I guess is my next, like the next one on the line. I don't know. That's new graphic name. As people I need to mm, replace. He is 29, he's actually turning 30 years year. I know it doesn't really matter that much with goalkeepers, but still, if I'm supposed to build this youngster team, then I should probably look to replace him as well. Well, 3 0, no? good result. I mean, one goal and two assists from Chen. Definitely gonna praise him. Europe, well, did I just say you were superb up front? I mean, technically, he was kind of up front, wasn't he? It was a bit weird. Holy moly. Am I reading this wrong? Oh, unbeaten home run. Okay, I was going to say, we just had a look and they lost loads of matches. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll be back in one sec and then we'll play some Atletico Atlet Atlet Madrid, I think, in the Super Cup or whatever it's called. So, stay tuned. Yeah, I assumed correctly. The transfer window has just opened on the 4th. So, terrible that we had to wait two more days to find a replacement for some random right back on the B team that doesn't even play there. Whew. Anywho, I actually want to show you I bought a few youngsters. Uh, I always like to buy a few youngster Danish ones. It's just, you know, I, I always have the Danish league loaded just for this sake. And yeah, could be good, potentially. Who knows? He's just going to sit in the young youth squad. Joachim Holm, which is a beautiful name, I would say. This guy, Mehmet Oral. I'm not saying I bought him because his name is Oral, but he's actually also... Pretty decent. I'm not sure if he's actually best as a right back. They're saying right back, but then this one is more bright green. I think he would be a great central defender. He's 179 already. Sorry, we don't do feet and all them knuckles and all them weird imperial measurements here. I would get too way too confused. Huh? Maybe a five star potential. He looks very good already at 16 years old, and he just turned 16 as well. That's pretty snazzy. So. Yeah, let's just do this straight away. In case you're interested, I always go ball playing defender. Oh no, that was wrong. Ball playing defender and then always just defend. I think it's the easiest one. Let's do some. Then it kind of depends well what he needs. Well, that was wrong. It's this one. So in this guy's case, I guess agility and balance could do a bit more in the physicals. We'll train that. Same with Holm. Training. Usually I want them to be advanced, so but if they can't play that, I will train them to do that. But since this guy can, it's just that. Strength is really lacking, so you just kind of go, strength, ta-da! Also improves uh, jumping reach, well, hopefully. I just noticed this as well. Mikel Arteta is unhappy with Gunduzi. Has he played a game yet? I think he came off the bench at least once. Yeah, he played one game, so... Tough crap, Arsenal! I don't care. Oh, it's been recalled. No! I got bluffed. <laughs> oh well. I managed to um, properly annoy them like they've been annoying me for God knows how long. Well, in the transfer window. So, I know, still a few days and then Athletic coming up. Alright, we're back, gang. Even though it's only two days, that took quite a while for me. I've had so many offers for so many exciting players. What I mean by that is... Uh, I've had lots of loan offers for players that are in my youth squad, so I had to deal with all that crap. <sighs> but anywho, oh, I didn't even tell you the team. I guess we can see it in here. I do remember one, some things. Mbappe is now back, so I'm starting him up front. Here we can see it. Other than that, it's Ter Stegen, Trent, who performed magically last game, so why not um, stick with him? And then Lengle comes into the center because I want United to watch and... Uh, Make a big bid for him. 
Same reason Alba is also playing instead of Mendes, who is back and raring to go. But meh. Then again, it's Kamavinga the Young in the midfield. Messi. I put Messi in the AMC role this time. And I wasn't hugely impressed with Pedri last match. So I'm going to give Trincao another shout on the right. Um, and then Fatih and Mbappe. Just looking at their team as well. They randomly have Ruben Loftus cheek. It's a bit strange. And of course, they have Luis Suarez, who is always going to score. I'm not sure what I clicked there, but it says something about Atletico Madrid, so we did that one. Let's see. Why was why is Ruben Loftus cheek in Athletic Madrid? Oh well. Intriguing. I mean I have Inacho, which is also a bit strange in it. But he's here as novelty. He's a what was it even? Last resort. Okay. We're gonna get one of our trademark good starts. Garcia to build off for the back. Okay. To Mbappe to Fati off the post. That was oh what? Well, the corner. Yeah, somehow it was a corner, so we'll take those. Are we gonna stoke it in? No. Yeah, that stoke thing really doesn't work any longer. Yeah. Maybe it's after they updated the game, who knows? But, oh Chinkao just tried to kill Joao Felix there. Which uh, you can respect. Is Felix? He's Portuguese as well, right? Yeah. He, oh, I shouldn't have looked at him. Holy moly, he is good. I'm so like when he actually signed for Athletic Madrid in real life. I'm I was so happy for him. That kid needs to just play every single week. And although I would love to have him at Barcelona in real life, like he probably just wouldn't have played with the way that things are been going in Barcelona. He'd be like. Love when we have Suarez and Bretinho and stuff, and he'll just sit on the bench and develop. No, he won't. Like, I'm happy for him that he gets to play. And at least it's not Real Madrid either, so there is potential that we can buy him one day to Barcelona in real, in real life, I mean. Maybe in game as well, who knows? I mean, he is still a bit of a wonder kid. Anywho, I think there is a football match going on. It's just very, very boring, so I guess we'll look that way now. I mean, you can't even see where I'm pointing, which is a bit daft. Love this cheek, the natural Spaniard in his element, I guess. I don't know. That's such a good ring to it. Isn't it? Carrasco with why did I? I don't know why he even dove for that one. That was miles away. I don't know. Pretty funny. We have to play Athletic in the league in like four days' time as well. So uh, should be fun. Uh, well, I'm definitely not happy. Come on, guys. I'm looking for you to make the difference. You are capable. Get out there, do stuff. Get a goal. Why not? We we can. Just put it into the goal. It's not that, easy. It's not that hard, is it? Okay, Koke to Savage to Trippier. Oh, I, oh yeah, of course. They have Trippier as well. They're building a English squad down here. I totally forgot about Trippier. But <laughs> that's just the nature of Trippier. And even when he's playing, people are like, oh shit. The Trippier's on the fit pitch. The Fitch? Blend of field and pitch. Anywho, Fati, are we going to make one of them goals now? That's not how you make a goal, dude. Really not how you make a goal. That was shocking. <sighs> well, I just told someone to man Mark Suarez. He can't be that fast any longer, right? Maybe it was a good idea. Well, if my assistant manager says so, then by all means. Oh, that looks scary. Saul is completely open. Boo! Saul. Better call Saul, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. What was it? Saul to Carrasco. That tr you know, that's Trent. Yeah, he doesn't do defending apparently. But then Saul is just completely open. And the first time to finish, it's just taken. On a good day, maybe say was it, but I don't think we can blame him for that one. Right, let's. Fire the boys up and then make a changerino cappuccino. Of course, Mbappe is playing like dog poo poo, or in my case, like chicken poo poo, which is basically what I'm dealing with on a daily basis here. It's a good thing she's not here with me right now because she would probably be pooping as I'm commenting a goal or something like on my shoulder. That's cute. She sits here on my shoulder, loves it. 
Anyway, so yeah, football, that's what we're here for. Um, Chippier, was this some sort of fight happening down there between Chippier and... Oh, I don't even know who that was. Oh my god. Is it Trent again that's somehow involved? Yeah, this is a bit strange. I guess you can't play Trent if the oppositions are... Look at that fight they were having there. You can't play Trent if the oppositions are even a little bit good. Maybe that's what it is. Oh my god, Trent, what on earth are you doing? I mean, maybe the secret is to just play him as a winger or something so he doesn't have to defend because that's like two big errors he's made now. It's not entirely his fault, I guess. So I don't know, it didn't look very promising as I'm just doing a random change while there's a highlight. Uh, get the young up for like Pjanic some game time. Win. Oh, apparently they scored. Well, good thing we have highlights on now, right? Coke into, who was it? Jimenez is just completely unmarked. That was probably Trent's fault as well, to be honest. He was probably the one man, man marking him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that. Well, this is a bit of a, bit of a pounding from them, isn't it? I mean, stats are completely even, but they are three 0 up. Man. To be honest, I almost don't even care. I mean, it was a shocking display. <clears throat> but it's the cup. I almost don't even care. I think did we win it the last one? Uh, good and bad. Blah 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 blah. I just want to see something here before we end it in the super cup. I feel like we yeah we did win it the last last season history. What oh, past winner? Uh, we beat Real in the. In the final. Yeah, I remember now. It's all coming back to me. Anywho, well, that just means we don't have to play again in two days. And we can at least wait six days until we play. So that's good for us. And yeah, more focused about the league and especially Champions League. Probably means I should have like, played some of the youngsters. But it is athletic uh, anyways. So hmm. but now it's probably silly of me. Anyways, well... That's it for this episode, and I have no idea. Oh yeah, by the way, we got Liverpool. <laughs> we got Liverpool in the Champions League first round, so that's also a toughie. I mean, we're definitely gonna watch that one. Uh, baiting if we should do something in between, or just do like let's say Liverpool and Zaragoza, and then we can also do ooh Liverpool and Real Madrid. So those are two good episodes. So yeah, I think you I think I'm gonna do that. We'll be back with Zaragoza. Uh, until next time, you know. Press like, all that, you know how it works.